Now, Russia has cautioned the U.S. against adopting new anti-Moscow measures over allegations that the Kremlin sought to influence the November's race for the White House. I would like to add that it is necessary for the people in the White House to clearly understand that if Washington undertakes new hostile steps, it will get a response. It concerns any actions against Russian diplomatic missions in the U.S., which will immediately ricochet the American diplomats in Russia. Maybe Obama's administration doesn't care what will happen to the bilateral relations. Russia's foreign ministry spokeswoman further rejected as lies Washington's claims that Russians hacked into the U.S. election system. Maria Zakharova argued that the Obama administration was trying to damage U.S.-Russia ties because it failed to achieve its goals during the election. The reaction came after three U.S. senators warned that Russia and its president could face sanctions over the country's interference in last month's presidential election. U.S. President Barack Obama is expected to announce retaliatory measures as early as Thursday. Well, to discuss that, we're now joined by Mr. Bill Jones, who is with Executive Intelligence Review, and he's joining us live now from Leesburg. Mr. Jones, this is all getting quite um, muddied, isn't it? Um, how do you think Russia will react? Well, it, it's hard to say. Um, they, uh, I think they, they have a certain strategic patience with regard to this president who is now uh, going off the deep end. Uh, he has less than a month to go. Uh, his policy lies in shambles, lies in ruins. Uh, his uh, policies in Syria has been totally overthrown. Uh, and uh, he is going to try and do as much damage as possible in the three weeks or so remaining to him, including uh, with regard to Russia. So he's going to uh, try and impose more sanctions, which uh, in all likelihood will be lifted. Uh, after uh, January 20th, and everybody knows that, and Obama knows that. But he's a very mean-spirited person, and uh, he wants to do as much damage as he still can do in the, the time remaining to him. Uh, there is a possibility that he could push, uh, push the country almost to the brink of war, but I think uh, his power is, uh, is fading fast, and I think that the Russian leaders, in all their wisdom, uh, realize that this is a, a desperate move by a desperate man uh, who is facing his ultimate failure as a president uh, and as a uh, as a politician. What I'm, what I'm interested in knowing, Mr. Jones, is that why are Republicans signing on to this uh, theory that Russia genuinely did interfere in the elections? You know, we had Lindsey Graham today release that statement saying that you know he would like to sanction Russia as well. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, you have a number of people in the Republican Party who uh, uh, see Putin as the demon himself. Uh, the Democrats, of course, uh, want to have a pretext for why they were so ser significantly defeated by a newcomer uh, without any political experience whatsoever uh, of their, you know, great Hillary Clinton, who thought it would be a uh, a walkaway uh, when she uh, she began this. Um, so they have to have a pretext for their own mistakes. They don't want to look at what they have done to lose the support of the ma great majority of the population uh, through the policies that Mr. Obama himself has imposed for the last eight years. So they need a pretext, and it's uh, Vladimir Putin. Uh, the Republicans, of course, you've got a few people like uh, John McCain and others uh, who simply just uh, will not ever give uh, anybody like Putin the benefit of a doubt in terms of defending his country's own uh, just interests. And you can expect them to rant and rave, as, as McCain and others have been doing. Uh, and there will be support within the Republican Party, uh, which is not so uh, so friendly to, to Russia or uh, to Putin personally. Uh, but it seems to me that uh, given uh, the statements that were made by the president-elect that there may indeed be a change of policy uh, with regard to Russia. But it's easy enough to beat the war drums, especially against a person uh, who has been uh, uh, painted with all kinds of black colors for the last eight years, ever since he regained the presidency in Russia. So you've got a climate here in which uh, people are very ir irrational coming to Russia, and uh, therefore they can jump on the bandwagon as soon as the president or somebody else uh, gives the signal that they should do so. 
Okay, Mr. Jones, we'll leave it there at that, but of course, as always, we appreciate you sharing your insight with us.